New Jersey's Attorney General Jeffrey Chiesa and State Police Superintendent Colonel Rick Fuentes, along with a host of state troopers, were in recruitment mode today. But given the ongoing scandal involving a state police escort of a speeding caravan of sports cars on March 30th, media requested an update on that incident, as well as a similar one seen in this amateur video taken back in June of 2010. We're taking the necessary amount of time uh, to make sure that that investigation is done complete with the oversight of the Attorney General's office. And we have taken action along the way where we thought it was appropriate to do that based upon our early findings. Ten commanders were recently transferred, although Fuentes wouldn't say how many were related to the police escort incidents. And two troopers who allegedly led the caravan have been suspended. Authorities declined to answer further questions about protocol or who authorized the escorts. Students seemed aware of the ongoing scandal, but that didn't seem to change their minds about pursuing a career with the state police. I think the actions of a few individuals don't really reflect on the whole organization, you know. It's their bad decision doesn't, you know, doesn't mean anything for everyone else. But the focus today was about the benefits of serving with the state police. I think there's over 100 different career paths you can pursue in the state police. These are elite law enforcement officials. It's the number of missions that you have and the number of opportunities you have to move from mission to mission in the state police and enjoy a career that's really like, really like no other. There's also an ongoing effort underway to recruit more minorities, especially African Americans. There were only two African Americans that graduated with the last class, but state police hope to improve that number by working with community partners like clergy and the NAACP. I think it's a partnership that's long overdue. And remember, we're working on a consent decree from 2000 to up the numbers of minorities that are part of the state police. Of the 2,745 currently enlisted with the state police, 83 percent are white. State police will accept applications May 7th through May 29th. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor at Kane University.